Welcome back to the Telebloke channel. The number one trending topic of the last Telegram update has been its folders, which are actually not as simple as they seem at first glance. Today I'm gonna try to tell you everything I know about the most long-awaited new feature in the Telegram Messenger. As I already said, folders are the most anticipated and, at the same time, the most complicated new feature from the Telegram team. So, a user creates a folder where they can choose the chat type displayed in it. Your contacts and people that are not in your contact list. Groups, public channels, bots. You can include several categories at once, for one filter or even all at once. That is, when creating a folder, we add several types of chats at once and they are in one window. Together with them, we can select the chats in this folder regardless of the selected types. You can add one extra user to the folder with bots and channels, and that's it. In the folder settings, the user can also exclude certain types of chats. These can be chats with notifications turned off, read chats, or archived chats. You can also exclude specific chats. If, for example, you create a particular folder and add all the channels there, but don't want the archived channels, be sure to add this to the excluded chats. By the way, I suggest everyone creating the new folder to keep all unread chats. I will talk about this feature later on. Now let's have a look at the limitations there. Including a chat in a folder by filters that is suggested options is not limited. If you add chats by groups, channels, bots and so on, then you can have up to 500 dialogues in your folder. But there's the limit of 100 chats when you add a dialogue without using the suggested standard options. That is, you create your own folder separately and add certain chats there. As for the pinned chats, after creating a folder using standard options, let's say you pin some chat. I took the new folder as an example. So, when you pin this chat, it's automatically added to the list of selected chats in settings. What does this mean? Since new texts are going to appear in our new folder and then disappear once you've read them, then after pinning and unpinning a specific chat, it will still be in this folder. That is, it doesn't matter whether the message is read or not. Now this chat, channel or bot will always be in this folder. If you want to remove it from there, go to the folder settings, select the one you need, its new folder, and delete the one you previously pinned or even unpinned from the selected chats. Only after this is the chat really removed from the folder. Of the folder's apparent reasons, it's worth mentioning switching between folders by swiping to the right or left. iOS users can configure their folders using a long press on the Chats tab at the bottom of the screen, or in the settings. For Android, it's a little more complicated. I didn't find a separate button, but there is a folder tab in the settings where you can configure everything. One thing to notice is that when the latest version of Telegram for smartphones appeared, Desktop versions were updated almost immediately. They included folders and a big thumbs up for the instant synchronization between phones and the desktop version. I hope you found this video helpful and you could understand a little more about this Telegram update. If so, give this video the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, because many exciting things are coming. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. It's the Telebloke channel. Subscribe and be trendy.